Tonight, KXAN has obtained a list of what safety improvements need to be made along the Butler Hike and Bike Trail downtown. Austin police created the list after a string of attacks on the trail. Lots of people asked for more to be done. KXAN's Kylie McGivern joining us live from one location where lighting is needed very much. Kylie? Yes, Robert and Sydney, as you can imagine, not a whole lot of people out on the trail right now with the weather, but we want to give you an idea of where we're at. Just off of Rainy, we're behind the Mexican American Cultural Arts Center, and the reason why we're out here, this is one of 14 places that APD identified as area that needs more light. You can see behind my shoulder here, not a lot back there, and this is not far from one of the areas where an assault occurred. It's, I mean, absolutely my favorite place in Austin. I mean, we've got 10 miles of uninterrupted trail with no traffic, which is, I mean, amazing. Most cities don't have that. Jennifer Harple enjoys the quiet that comes with her early morning runs. I run pretty early before I go to work and it's dark. But now she listens to her gut. Here lately, I've been trying to run more with the groups. A series of attacks on the trail, leaving her more leery. There's parts of the trail where I'll kind of go up closer to the road. Um, if it's super dark, people can see you. Kimberly McNeely with Parks and Rec says they're eager to get to work on the recommendation list. Take a look at what infrastructure is in place. Um, is there an option for solar lighting? Uh, what would that look like? What are the costs associated with that? Costs Parks and Rec would take on. The longer that we evaluate, uh, the more time that goes by where people could perceive it as not being um, safe. She says spots needing mowing and trimming have already been addressed. The city wants people to remember to run with a buddy, be aware of the trail exits, and carry a cell phone. Whatever we can do to um, improve that feeling of comfort or that perception of being safe, we want to make sure that we implement that. I think it's great. I mean, I would love it if they could add some lights to the trail. And we've learned APD is actually planning to put out a monthly trail safety inspection report as well as continue to add additional patrols to the area. Back to you. Kylie, thank you. So far, Austin police have only told us about one arrest tied to the attacks on the trail last fall. Richard McKeachern, this man, is facing two charges of sexual assault. Police say they found him sleeping along the trail half naked. They say he looked like the man caught on surveillance video at the time of the attack. But police warned that they did not think he was connected to another assault near Austin High School earlier that month.